to bite us a lot. And one time we had to take my husband to the emergency room. My name is Dee Dee Croy. Every pet deserves a groom. I'm here to get the job done and give your pet that opportunity. Well, we love Sammy. He used to bite us a lot. And one time we had to take my husband to the emergency room because of a bite. Um, the groomers wouldn't have him back. And of course he's a rescue and he had been mistreated was very obvious and so we were at a point where we had to make a decision when I found you on YouTube. And you did dogs that bite because no one else would groom him. I couldn't groom him and you can't let a dog do that. Just not be groomed. All right, let's see what you got here. Okay. Hi, can you get up here for me? That's as, that's as short as it gets. Oh, I like that. Hi, Sammy. I like that. I gotta put this coat net around your face, okay? Hi, mm -hmm. Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi. You ready to get, to get this on? Can I put this on? Come here. Good boy, let me get my fingers out of there. Hey, hey Sammy, hey. So I think he'll be easier to trim today than he has in the past, I hope. If we weren't able to groom him that first time, what was the, what were your options? To have him put to sleep. Because I can't give a dog to someone that bites. I just, I didn't know what else to do. Yeah, see, it could be anger. Right. Hey, don't try to bite me. So I'm not sure if you guys heard, but Pet Parent is starting a heartworm procedure on the pet with her veterinarian tomorrow. And in doing that, we want to, even right now, we want to have low energy, no hyperness, wildness, no other dogs here. So if you can't tell, it's pretty quiet while I work with them, which I think that that alone is awesome for him, for what he's going through. And now he's going to have to go through this this stuff for heartworms, which sometimes, if you if you look into it, some dogs don't survive that. Look over there. You don't like me touching your arm? Good. No, you don't like that. I'll come back to it. Doing better though, doing much better. Okay, Sammy. Let's do a trick deal over here. In, 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 in.
get mad at me. Don't 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 get mad at me. You smell? Smell this. Now come on. Y'all gotta shave it all off. I didn't do anything. Look forward. Okay. Oh. oh heck no! Heck no! Like it's this is not allowed. No! So right there, you just got your way. Gosh, he just does not want to stand up. The whip back is extremely dangerous. The whip back can bite my face. So I've got to bring him forward and he's got way too much room to whip around, right? So this is not tight enough right here. This looseness that I gave him ends now. We'll need to ask how much, how much uh, how much walking was given, so a one mile to a mile and a half. <laughs> Unfortunately, he has heartworms. So he's, he's not supposed to do a mile or a mile and a half, but he really needs it. See how I'm holding, having to hold him up? 
I can't do anything else. One hand has to hold them up, the other hand has to do the grooming. It's a lot. Okay, ready going in. I am really not sure what the pet parent needs to do right now. I know exercise is a, is a huge big deal, but he's got heartworms. You're not supposed to exercise, run, jump, have high anxiety. You're not supposed to have any of those things happen when you have heartworms. What do we do? Great, he has to, he has to go on a walk. He's really fighting me right now on the table. So what's worse? Him fighting me and running miles on the table or stopping to take a quick walk? You be the judge. We are going to take this energy, hopefully, that you just got rid of and really just get in there. Okay, I have an idea. Don't bite me. <laughs> Don't bite me, Sammy. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by watching all the videos that I have out there, but what I do for a living isn't just grooming. It's by golly wrestling animals. Sammy. Don't bite me, Sammy. Don't bite me, Sammy. Don't bite me, Sammy. My shoulder. Don't buy me, Sammy. 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 Stay, stay, stay. Let me see. Don't, don't. Okay. There's an exercise she can do at home with him. Treat paw up. Treat paw up. Treat paw up. Eventually, get to both paws up. Treat paws up. Treat paws up. And then when I do that next time round, he should be better at it. Treat paws up. He really likes that.
Sammy. You can tell that she's not hurting him. He's complaining and he's looked like he wanted to bite her a time or two, but she's not hurting him at all. No. <coughs> At the end of the day, I am not going to be able to complete this groom until this dog has more exercise. He may be sitting in the lobby all chill and happy, but at the end of the day, when he gets on that table, he is ready to attack when you touch parts of his body that he doesn't want you to touch. And I just touched one. That's not good. And that's why messing with this area of his body is really painful to him. So this dog has these dew claws. Do you see the reaction? As soon as I touched it, it's so painful. This dew claw right here is, is so tight against that pad right there. Can you see this rear dew claw circling in on his pad? Well, no wonder he's pretty upset with me right now. What is that dew claw doing? Is, it, is there space between the pad and the dew claw? No. No, if that was your toenail? That would hurt. I have to groom around that sucker, and not only that, but I've got to get a hold of it, look at it, find it, and trim it. It's extremely painful. It's just snugging the pad. Hold on, hold on, Sammy. His tail is holding my arm. It's purposely holding my arm right now. Hold on, Sammy. If you feel like you need me to stop, pet parent, you tell me to stop. He's your baby. No. I don't know anyone that do, would do it better than Dee Dee. There's no vet that would be as kind and patient. We're just going to have to come back every four weeks. I don't want her to stop. 
Same thing here. Okay, we got this. This dew claw needs to be trimmed every four to six weeks. This is painful here. My nail clippers cannot even get between the pad and the nails. You see, it won't. There's no space for it. Okay. This pad is matted pretty good. The pads are pretty raw. That could have a lot to do with his reaction right now to what's going on. especially Sammy, and just give them that big hug. Love always helps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You guys feel the intensity like I do, but make sure you're breathing. Nice. Ah, easy on the eyes. Okay, that's that's fine. You want to make those kinds of noises? Don't do that. No sudden movements. No sudden movements. No sudden movements. pretty. It will look pretty after we're done. Okay. I know it doesn't look pretty, but you can breathe, you know, it's got a net in front of it. Okay. And your eyes are closed like you're enjoying it. Doing good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh -uh. Ooh, he really hates that now, doesn't he? Nothing's happening yet. Nothing's even happening yet, okay? Nothing's even happening yet. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, we're gonna skip that. We're actually gonna skip that this time. Well, we're gonna battle it. We're gonna go war, war, all over again. And let's talk about pulling ear hair out together. Everyone holding his head. Uh, possibly one month from now, or after, say, heartworm session number one, two, and three. So you keep me posted as to how that looks and goes. But let's not let's not go through more war today. Okay, let's not do that. How did I do? Awesome. Awesome. I couldn't believe your patience. I could not believe it. You were just so patient and just worked with him and then you would hold him and love on him. And that calmed him. It did. See how he likes to sit up on my shoulder? He is so happy right now. He is. He's really happy. Yeah. Is that him. one hair is that one hair a big deal? No. No. <laughs> no. It's a big deal that we have the dew claws trimmed. It's a big deal that we have 
the fur and the knits off. It's a big deal we've got the face clean because that helps us keep him clean. And the ears and everything's short. That's a big deal. Not the hair. He doesn't have to win a beauty prize. Are you glad you found my favorite groomer? Praise God. <laughs> yes. Because he wouldn't be alive today. He couldn't be. I couldn't have left him un untrimmed. Do you know how fast he grows? I've groomed a lot of aggressive dogs. This guy takes the cake in the sense of he does not calm down. No matter what, he does not want to give it to me. I am singing and rubbing and loving and hugging, and I'm starting to wonder if any of this is going to work. Finally, I get to the nail, the dew claws in the rear, and I am now finally aware of what the major problem is here. He has got to get these trimmed back way more often than anything else that we do. Aside from that, I feel like we had an awesome, successful grooming. And you know how I know best is because pet parent let me know that at home, they can accomplish a bath without being bit. They can touch and brush and like they've never done before. So I know that even though he had a problem today, we're making huge headway at home. And that to me is a successful grooming and I am so excited.